Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I only paid $2.50 for Toby's Vertical Adventure. Toby's Vertical Adventure comes to us from Secret Base, which is a Singapore-based game studio. And uh, in addition to Toby's Vertical Adventure, they've done two uh, more simplistic spin-offs of Toby's Vertical Adventure. Uh, one of them is web-based, I believe one of them is... Uh, iPhone or Windows 7 phone, you know, one of those fancy phones that I don't have. And uh, they've done a couple of other games, but Toby's Vertical Adventure really seems to be uh, the game that they are considering to be their their mainline title, their, uh, their marquee title. So uh, we're going to take Toby's Vertical Adventure for a spin. And uh, I have already played this game just a little bit and really, really do enjoy it. Uh, it has that retro aesthetic that I think you guys uh, do know that I'm, I'm always going to, to be a sucker for that. Uh, and it just has an interesting little, uh, little concept to it. It's a, a sort of a humble game. It doesn't have a, a lot of major aspirations. It even bills itself as a simple platformer. Uh, so uh, I've heard some mixed reviews, some amazingly good reviews of this game, and I've also heard of some people who uh, really didn't enjoy the game that much. So uh, we're going to go right in. You do have a couple of characters you can select from. You can play as Toby or his girlfriend. You see them here featured in the, uh, in the graphic, Toby clinging to the, uh, the Jack-and-the-Beanstalk-esque <laughs> uh, uh, root there, and uh, his girlfriend sitting her rather rotund posterior on the uh, platform below. And uh, you'll see why I say rotund posterior in just a moment when we get into the story mode here. Uh, basic options, I mean, this game really is uh, a simple platformer. I'm not even going to bother dipping into the options. Some basic controls as well as um, just the ability to sort of size the screen. I wouldn't even call it resolutions, um, but uh, you can you can stretch the screen to your liking. There are some online leaderboards, and once you've unlocked levels, you can move between the levels seamlessly to try to set those high scores if that's the sort of thing that you're interested in. So uh, let's get right into story mode. You can see I've, I've reset myself here back to uh, nothing, so uh, we are at the very beginning beginning of the story and we'll just take a moment to watch the little uh, cutscene intro here that they have devised to kind of get us into exactly what Toby's vertical adventure is all about. So there you have it, uh, uh, exposition fitting of a uh, of an 8-bit sort of adventure like this. Uh, Toby, just a, a modest gamer, his girlfriend wants real adventure, and so off they go. Uh, you do have these little signposts throughout the first few levels, uh, just kind of letting you know what's going on, uh, what to do, when to do it, uh, how to uh, use the tools that are present in the game. And uh, so the first thing we're going to look at, of course, with any game is, is the visual. And uh, this game has a charming visual style. Uh, it is everything you would expect from a game that, that bills itself as a simple retro platform adventure. It's got all the elements uh, that you would expect. I love the little animation on his arms as he goes through the, uh, as he goes across the vines there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is a, uh, it is through and through a, a, a true and, uh, and, and solid-looking retro platformer. Uh, it's got a lot of the things you would expect, like it's got the ledge grab, uh, it's got a little bit of a, of a wall slide that you can do uh, as well, a little wall run and slide. Uh, it's got a lot of great features, and uh, it, it really is it really is a retro uh, a, a retro update. You know, it's it's clearly trying to evoke those retro feelings in its audience. And it does an amazing job of that, and that's something you're seeing from uh, from a lot of games lately. I mean, they are trying to capitalize on that the sort of coolness of retro right now, and uh, we get to do a nice little Samus move here, a little roll up and ball, and we didn't even have to go halfway through the game to get that ability. Just got it right off the bat. 
Uh, so you see me grabbing these little power-ups as I go. You can get a rope that you can toss up, as you saw me do just a moment ago. And uh, you also get these little balloons so that you can float yourself. And uh, those will come into play at, at different points in the uh, in the, the contest here, in the, in the match, in the level. Uh, this is one of the interesting little mechanics that they have. They have these little chests, and you have to actually like jimmy them open by by actually uh, moving the stick up and down multiple times and, and eventually Toby manages to uh, to jimmy the, the lock there and get into it. So uh, we're picking up the power-ups here, picking up the crystals. Of course, uh, why do we want the red gems? Because our girlfriend wants them. And, and I hope you could kind of see there what I meant by the rotund posterior. Uh, she's drawn to be a bit hippie <laughs> through the uh, through the the waist area there through the through the hip region so uh, yeah nothing wrong with that nothing at all wrong with that I'm, I'm a fan of voluptuous curves all right so we're gonna try to unlock this here I don't there's gonna be some button I press there it is okay it's down. <laughs> So I got a nice unlock, and here's the vertical part of Toby's vertical adventure. You fight your way down to the bottom of the cave where you reveal the ultimate treasure chest, and then at that point, the cave starts to crumble, and now you have to fight your way back up vertically through a very different version of the level. Well, not very different in this case, but some levels do change very dramatically. And you're going to see these are the times when you will often have to implement those uh, those power-ups, like your ropes and your balloons. And there will be parts of the level that you couldn't get previously, uh, you couldn't get to previously, that you can now reach. So you're seeing here there are some gems and, and chests and things that I, I absolutely could not get to before now I can get to them and this is pretty much a uh, this is a, a mechanic that they use in every single level um, as far as I know uh, you can see I'm being timed here I gotta get out of the cave I suppose or else be, be trapped here forever I'm not certain but uh, we won't we won't see what happens when that timer runs out how about that we'll just go ahead and platform our way out. I guess I am full up. I uh, will leave that chicken be. Sorry, Mr. Chicken. Here we go. And I grab the ring. And uh, this would be, I suppose, the ring, the rope that's been lowered down by my girlfriend from the, uh, from the balloon that we flew in on. So uh, there you go, stage clear. And off we go. More Mystic Cavern and more Toby's Vertical Adventure. You can jimmy yourself off of this balloon at the beginning if you if you don't feel inclined to uh, ride it all the way down. So now here you go. You see we are uh, we are now encountering some enemies, and you can sort of stun them, but I don't think you can kill them as far as I know. And uh, they're going to start start introducing you to the the more complex aspects for instance the the wall run which they're introducing us to here as you can see there and, and the wall grab and slide and things of that nature um, there's the wall slide right there I like the sound effect on the wall slide and the game's gonna continue like this and it's uh, it's gonna pretty much continue to, to deliver this basic uh, sort of platforming fun and this is really what Toby's Vertical Adventure is all about. If I can jimmy that open. Oh! I got the, the momentum of the turn. I got me there. And down we go. And you'll, you'll start to see as you go through the levels, okay, this is obviously going to be something that's going to come into play after I open the last chest. I've got a little bit of a uh, puzzler here. Actually, I want that chicken. Come on now, I want that chicken. I must have that chicken. Here, let's do this. Let's let this come all the way down. Let's see if we can't run up this wall. Oh man, I want that chicken. I want it. Oh, I just got crushed. Okay, well, if you get crushed, you respawn at a light bulb. Looks like I have three mans here, so uh, let's use a rope. How about that? There we go. That'll make things a bit easier. 
and we'll get our chicken. Because, of course, who doesn't want to collect all of the chickens? Come on now. There we go. Get that out of there. Ah, darn it. I suppose I could use another rope, but uh, I'm going to hold off on that. Maybe we'll get a nice opportunity to grab that chicken on the way back out. And here we go. What's it going to be? Another nice. And the level's going to change, and we are going to escape it once again. And uh, like I said, I mean, this is pretty much what this game has to offer. I mean, uh, without being... Uh, without being too too far into the game in my first playthrough, I can't, I can't guarantee you that it's not going to innovate uh, on, on its uh, self here. But uh, this is pretty much what I've experienced so far with this game. And uh, this, is, um, this is a nice little bit here that it actually starts to get a little bit more... There gets to be a little more choice involved, if, if you will. Um, there are some places here where I could try different things to escape. And, and this is where those sort of online leaderboards, you know, kind of start to come into play. And uh, you start to see... Uh, you start to see different ways through a level, you know, speed-wise. Do I, do I want to do this? or Ooh, what was that? Oh, I like that. Bouncing me right up there. All right. Come on, little vegetable man. Whatever you are. And there we go. Once again, we left another chicken behind. Keep leaving one chicken behind. Hmm, okay. And Mr. Caverns, Act 3... So guys, I don't think that I really, uh, I don't, I don't think that I really need to, uh, to give you any more uh, Toby's Vertical Adventure. I mean, you can see what this game is about, um, and this is, this is what it has to offer as far as I have been able to uh, see in my time playing Toby's Vertical Adventure. It looks like a really solid retro-style platformer. Love the music. Uh, it is a really addictive little bit of uh, little bit of chirp tune there, and I really really enjoy the. Oh, that almost fell on my head. I really enjoy the gameplay. Um, you know, I, I imagine that this probably gets fairly old uh, after a bit, and that uh, there there isn't a lot of innovation here. Uh, I mean, it is a very strict interpretation of the um, of the retro platform genre. Um, I have experienced some errors in the game as you saw right there there was a little sort of clipping problem uh, I do experience that from time to time with the game but all in all this is a solid uh, solid platform it's certainly worth the two dollars and fifty cents that I paid for it it is on sale during the Steam holiday sale uh, I haven't seen a, a big reduction on it it's on the standard 50% uh, off right now for two dollars and fifty cents and um, you know I I can definitely say that I enjoy this game. Uh, I do know that uh, a few people have have just gave it black marks for, or uh, you know, negative marks for lack of imagination. I suppose is a good word. Uh, but all in all, I oh, that was a surprise. Crafty, crafty there, dropped on my head. Uh, but, you know, all in all, I, I don't have any complaints about the game as far as I've played into it. I've played uh, up to the second world uh, past the Mystic Caverns. So, uh, you know, I, I really enjoy the game. And uh, so far, it's been nothing but an enjoyable retro platform experience. Um, I can get this from a lot of other games, but I do like the dedication of Secret Base in that, like I said, it feels like they've made Toby sort of their character. Uh, they, they've sort of put him forward as as their guy. Uh, they've already made two other uh, spin-off games with Toby, and I think that he will uh, he will continue to be their sort of mascot. Uh, one last thing I wanted to point out to you guys uh, as we go ahead and jimmy this chest uh, is um, there is a co-op. You can play two-player co-op with uh, Toby and his girlfriend. Um, it would appear to be local. Uh, co-op only so uh, that's you know uh, it's always nice when games can include net code for uh, for online co-op especially in this age of steam and and all of this business of, of you know friends lists and lots of uh, online accessibility uh, but it does have local co-op which is, uh, is is a breath of fresh air a lot of games that uh, that, that could put in local co-op just simply don't 
so uh, your your buddy can play with a keyboard or uh, I guess another a second Xbox 360 controller. Which again, I am using an Xbox 360 controller right now. I, I did uh, forget to mention that uh, the control system is solid. Uh, I have seen someone say the keyboard controls are wonky. I didn't even try uh, to explore the keyboard controls in, in the case of this uh, this particular game. So you know keyboard at your own risk of course when it, when it comes to these indie sort of uh, uh, platform games these games that are clearly emulating uh, uh, games that would have appeared on something like a Super Nintendo uh, so yeah keyboard at your own risk friends uh, and uh, yeah I think that's gonna do it Toby's vertical adventure let's uh, let's try to get up here and get to the uh, the hook we'll sort of finish off here with this final exit of the final of this level the final level and again we left another chicken oh this time two chickens we left behind all right guys this is toby's vertical adventure i've had a, a blast playing this game it is not breaking any ground but it's certainly giving me a uh, uh, a retro semi you know it's 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 not giving me that raging retro hard on that uh, some other certain games like Ares Extinction Agenda did, uh, but this game has been fabulous. I really enjoyed uh, the the value priced title, Toby's Vertical Adventure. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy. <laughs>